guys, what's going on? It's Jack here. Now, today, as it's been heavily requested, we're actually going to go through how to connect your iDropship store. You're going to need two things for this. You're going to need an iDropship account and you're going to need a Shopify account. So, the good thing about iDropship is it's free to use, but it also can integrate with Shopify. Once you have both accounts logged in, I'll show you guys really, really simply how you can connect them. It doesn't take very long at all, but there are a few steps involved which can be confusing, which I'm going to show you now. So, first things first, we want to go to our iDropship uh, account. So all you do is go to the top right here, once you sign in, go to your account. Then you want to scroll down to the bottom and go to connect your store. And then we go to connect to Shopify. So mine's already, I'm going to have to block a few things out here because mine's already connected. Now all you need to do from here is it's going to have these three little, uh, these three lines here, which you need to enter in your information. So you're going to have to enter in your uh, Shopify URL, your API key, and your password so and then it will have install instead of in, instead of uninstall here what we're going to do from here is go to your Shopify account and the first thing you're going to need I'll just show you here is your URL and you're going to need the, your URL with the dot my Shopify.com so the way to get to that is you want to go to your Shopify store and you go to online store now whether you have a URL that you've already bought or purchased or not you're going to need the dot my Shopify.com so go to online store and then go to domains and again, I'm going to have to block out some of this, but you want to make sure that it's the one that says the .myshopify.com. There's no www dot or anything like that. Just get the domain name under Shopify Manage Domains, copy that in, and you want to go ahead and paste that into the top part here. So next, it's going to need your API key. Now it says here, copy your API key, which says your API key. Now this is the part where it says, you know, where it's a little confusing. It will say uh, to paste this in here, but you don't paste this in and you don't paste in this password. What you actually need to do is you need to create your own uh, sort of connection to the app. So we're going to go ahead and hit apps on your Shopify account. We're going to go ahead down the bottom and go to manage private apps. And it looks like it's pretty complicated, but it's very, very easy. All you do, I've created mine here, which I, again, I'm going to have to block out because that's the one that I made for iDropship. You just want to go ahead and click create a new private app. Once you're on the next page, you just want to go ahead and type in the app name. You can just do iDropship. I'll just do it all in capital since I've already done mine. So just type in iDropship there. You don't need a developer email. You just want to make sure with your active permissions, you want to make sure that all of these are read access and read and write access. Whatever the most amount of access is, read and write. Make sure all of this is read and write. Go ahead and do that for the rest of these. Every single one of these, you want to make sure that is uh, read and write, or if it's just read, make sure that's read. If it's got the read and write act, uh, option, go to read and write. So make sure that you do this for every single one of these because that allows access to the iDropship to be able to integrate with it and give it permissions that it needs. So then from there, uh, you want to go ahead and hit save. Okay, so the emergency developer email can't be blank. So just go ahead and put in your email here. Then you can go ahead and create the app. So you can't leave that blank. Just put in your own email. You don't need an actual developer email. I didn't use mine to connect my store. Okay, now these are the API keys that you need. So you need the API key and the password. This is what you put into these parts here. So the API key is the one in the middle. Then your password down the bottom here is the one down the bottom of the password. So you just click here on the right hand side and you can copy it in and then you can connect your store. And then after you put in that, uh, make sure to hit install and then it may it may say that it won't be able to connect. Try it a few more times, you can refresh the page. Make sure as well, if it's not connecting and you, you, you're making sure that you're putting in the API key and the password correctly, make sure that your Shopify store is it doesn't have www dot in front of it. You can't just uh, go ahead and copy the URL. You need to make sure again that you go into domains and just get the simplified version under the Shopify uh, domains, which I showed just before. And then it should be all good to go. If you're still having problems with it, just try it a few more times. I actually had to try it a few times to make sure everything was correct. And uh, also refresh the page as well. So make sure you are following along with these uh, with these instructions as well. And then. After that, it should come up with a little notification up the bottom which said it's connected in green and then you should be good to go. If you are having troubles with it, just comment on this video or give me a message on my Facebook or email me if you're having troubles with it. You can even contact iDropship, they can help you out with that as well. Very, very simple stuff. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to actually add a product. Now, the one thing to note is it will take time. So I'm just going to go really quickly and show you how to add a product and we're going to go to the top trending here and we're just going to choose a random, random product. Now, let's just go to these 
Uh, let's go to this dog house, right? Let's say we wanted to add that into our Shopify store because now that it's integrated, we can actually uh, add products in and you can actually fulfill them as well. I'm not gonna go through fulfillment, but I'll show you how to add them in right now. So let's say we like the look of this and we wanted to add it to our store. Make sure that you're signed in, of course, and we wanna go across to where it says add to import list here. You can't see it, but it says add to import list. And it says add it to import list. So after that, what we can do, once it's in the import list, we can go to your account. And once we're in our account, what we can actually do is go through to the import list should be in the import list here. And then from here in the import list, we can actually do is add it to the Shopify store. So I already got one here that I was just demoing out before, but if we wanted to add this wooden dog house into our store, we just click, make sure that it's ticked here. And then we go to add one selected to Shopify. So it says products that incur additional shipping charges are being exported. Please refer to shipping information file from download center to get the additional freight charges. Okay, cool. So you can go ahead and, and download those. It'll give you information on freight, how much uh, the shipping costs and whatnot. And then that it gave you a little bar to say that it's being imported then. So once that's done, we wanna go ahead and go to my list, go to my Shopify list here. Now, the only thing I need to let you know with this is it will take a little bit of time. It won't happen straight away. You can go and check into your Shopify products here. You can go into your products and make sure that the product's there, but it will take more than a couple of hours. From what I saw, I just left it for I think it was over six hours. I think I just left it overnight, to be honest, and then it was there the next day. So it will take a little bit of time because whether it, it is done manually through whoever's uh, running the iDropship website, whether it's done through there, or whether it's just an actual queue which people are adding their products in from, it will take some time. So that's the only thing to note with that, but that is basically how to connect iDropship, uh, your iDropship account to your Shopify store, and then how to add products in. I'll do further videos later on down the track on fulfilling orders and if there's any other parts which you guys would like to know about the iDropship website, but I think it's a great alternative to AliExpress because it's uh, Aussie based and the shipping times are great for for uh, if you're selling to Aussie customers, but I think this is the way to go. And the uh, the way to sync your, your account to your store is quite simple and adding products in is quite simple as well. So do you have any other questions about this, let me know, comment down below or give me a message. But apart from that guys, I hope you guys having a wonderful day or night wherever you're watching. Stay safe. See you guys in the next one.